Today we're making mint chocolate fudge in the slow cooker. Come on in, welcome to my home. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I thought I'd make this mint chocolate fudge easy for you. This is so wonderful and it will impress your little sweetheart before you even know it. Now there are a couple things which you can alter. I did this for a specific reason because I found that if you do not absolutely adore, love, cherish the taste of mint, it could overwhelm the chocolate. So I'm going to tell you what you can do. I'm using my slow cooker. Love doing fudge in the slow cooker. It is so easy to do and it's so good. Okay, I'm going to start off by putting one tablespoon of butter in the slow cooker. Now, you'll see that all of the ingredients are flashing up below on the screen and they're listed down in the description. And then I have Andy's mints or you can use any sort of mint chocolate chips that you can get. I have two cups here, and then I'm going to add one cup of dark chocolate chips. Now here's where you can switch this up. If you absolutely adore, cherish, and love the taste of mint, go ahead and use three cups of uh, mint chocolate chips. If not, or if you just want to get some more of the dark chocolate flavor in it, use the two cups to one cup. That makes it easy. Now this is just sweetened condensed milk. You can learn how to make your own sweetened condensed milk. Hit that eye in the sky. It'll teach you how to make sweetened condensed milk. Or you can just go ahead and buy it. I'll admit, I bought this one simply because it was so much easier at this time of year to do. Place the lid on, set it on high, and then we're going to go ahead and let it cook. We're going to cook this until everything is completely smooth and melted. You can go a little bit longer. You could like, you know, go away for about an hour, but I'd put it on a lower temperature. Just keep an eye on this. Let the slow cooker do all the work. Once everything has melted, I'm just going to take it and dump it into a parchment lined pan. Once it's all spread out into the pan, I'm going to then let it cool in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Then we'll come back, slice it up, and taste it. Our fudge is cooled and I've taken it out of the pan. Now I'm just going to slice off a piece. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste. That is a really rich and dense chocolate mint fudge. And this is what I was talking about, about not using completely three cups of the chocolate mint chips. With the three cups, the mint can become overwhelming. But with just this two cups to one cup of dark chocolate chips, the, it is chocolate mint. Really good. It's, uh, this is so wonderful. Took no time at all to make, set up really fast, and I think you're going to love it. And I bet your sweetheart's going to love it too. If you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.